folks, Scott Sager with you. It's been a little while since I've been in the studio, but uh, we've got this gentleman in here today for a great interview about a great new program. So I uh, want to introduce everybody to Joe... Uh, Vager. Vager, like Sager with a V. Joe Vager, and he's got a 3Bs program that I've heard a little bit about at church, but uh, this thing's just getting rolling, and so we wanted to bring Joe in to talk about this. 3Bs, Joe. Welcome to the studio, first of all. Thank you. But uh, let's talk about this program, and again, it, it's an interesting way to approach bringing some older folks together to yeah. grow together to improve themselves together, but I'll, I'll let you fill in the blanks on the details here. Okay, well, the 3B program was started by uh, uh, some Presbyterian ministers uh, in Fort Wayne area, and, and one of them actually worked at, uh, at Peabody okay. in, in North Manchester, and uh, they were looking to get our senior citizens involved and help them to, uh, you know, have a better life. Yeah. Uh, the program, the three B's actually stand for body, brain, and belief. And uh, during the day, I mean, during the, the hour that we have, mm -hmm. uh, we, we do movement, and it's very slow, um, really working on motion mm -hmm. and flexibility. Because mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's mainly, you know, like we open up our pill bottles and stuff, right. and our hands, you know, if we don't, you know, don't use it, yeah. you lose it. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, it's just to help them to, to get to there. Uh, working on the brain, because at times that, uh, you know, just by changing where our hand is, uh -huh. changes which side of our brain uses. Nice. Or, or if we're doing flexibility, you know, just by changing the direction, it's making our brains work. And, yeah. and uh, we even uh, have little uh, brain teasers. Yeah. You know, for example... Uh, David's father had three sons, Snap, Crackle, and... David. David, very it good. Took me yeah. a second. You must have been a church it today. Took me I did a that. Second. <laughs> I was like, there's something there. What but, uh, it? Yeah, that's at church, good. everybody yelled, pop. You yeah. know? I was like, no, it was David. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> but, you know, it just gets them to think. Absolutely. And, uh, and we even start out with uh, scripture in motion. Okay. You know, so we sit there and say, uh, uh, Lamentations. 341, mm -hmm. um, let us raise our hearts and our hands nice. to God in heaven. Oh, wow. And, uh, you know, so they, they memorize that. Uh -huh. and, and every morning when you put your feet on the floor out of bed, you, you do that. And, nice. Um, you know, so and we have uh, devotions. Mm -hmm. And so it's, you know, again, it, it works on our bodies, mm -hmm. it works on our brains, mm -hmm. and it works on our beliefs. Excellent. So, uh, Physical health, mental health, and spiritual health. And spiritual all in health, one. all in one. I like it. And uh, and I even went to class for it. Okay. So, so I'm certified. So you're the teacher. I, so I'm the teacher, yeah. And, uh, and I coached for 20 years, uh -huh. you know, being in education for over 30. Sure. And uh, so this is kind of me getting back into coaching. Yeah. Yeah, Joe's an educator um, at, at heart. You just know it when you're around him. But uh, right now you're down in Logansport, correct? Yes, I teach at the Century Career Center in Logansport. Excellent. I teach precision machining. Oh, wow, fantastic, so, fantastic. So yeah. this is kind of in your ballywick. But um, what kind of got you inspired to bring this out and not only to maybe go to a course, but to bring it to Rochester to, to be an instructor? Well, Community Presbyterian Church, which I really love the name, Community. Yeah. And uh, we moved here to Rochester in 2012. Okay. Um, actually, my uh, a lot of people may even know my my mother in law's mother. Okay. And and father, uh, it was John and Mary Hyatt. Yes. Uh, um, Mary Hyatt actually went to the Methodist Church here in yes. town, the United Methodist, and so when we started going there, they, we kind of <laughs> were very welcome because you know we were sure. kind of family. Part of family. But, <laughs> but uh, you know. My wife grew up Presbyterian, and I uh, joined the Presbyterian Church when I was 18, and and uh, so we thought, wow, we're finally in a community with Presbyterian Church Thank again, and, and we went, we love it, yeah. and uh, so we became you know active members, and mm -hmm. and I'm an elder there now, mm -hmm. and and uh, I actually happen to be in charge of Christian education. Okay, and uh, since we only have two or three little ones. Right. Uh, we don't have much for our Christian education right. except for our Wacky Wednesdays right. that, that we sponsor. Oh, that's a great thing, right? And that's that's a wonderful that's a wonderful activity. But it was like we have an aging mm -hmm. congregation. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, one day I was there thinking, "Oh my gosh, I'm the youngest one here." <laughs> 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 and uh, so you know, I thought, well, uh, 
Pastor Sue from uh, Peabody. Okay. She was at Peabody for a number of years, and she just retired. And she was one of them that uh, started the program, and she came to our uh, um, session meeting okay. one night and presented it. And I thought, oh, this is me. Right. This perfect is, for you, this perfect, perfect for the congregation, for the community. For the community, yes, yes exactly. Um, so I said, hey, I'm going. Here we and are. So I spent the weekend at uh, Fort Wayne okay. taking all the classes, yeah. going through this. That's <laughs> quite a book. It's <laughs> quite <laughs> a know. lighter. But, uh, but, you know, again, everything is set up for us. Um, and, and, and it's a 12-week okay. session. Okay. Um, when, are at, we, when are we going to start this one up? That's what I was just okay. getting ready to say. Good segue, as they say, yeah, right. you know, in education. <laughs> um, well, we're I, I had it for two weeks here in, in December, okay. you know, getting you know our congregation involved. Nice. And then, of course, vacation. Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve. People didn't want to come out on I that night. I can't imagine why. You know, they have other things, I guess. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, we're starting on January the 7th. Okay. Monday, January 7th. Great. Uh, since I teach, I, I have to do it. Uh, later in the day, so sure. four thirty to five thirty. Right, still at, right here at the uh, Community Presbyterian Church on Sixth Street. Okay, and uh, everybody's welcome. Excellent. So, so it's community based. And you don't have to be a Presbyterian. To you go. don't have to be a Presbyterian. Just, no, you know, come from the community. We'll, we'll have you. Any age restrictions? Um, if you can get there, mm -hmm. there you are. Okay, you're. Uh, you know, I mean. It's, you, it's low impact with regard to everything you're doing. Yes, you're, if you, you can sit on a chair, and, and I call it the hippo walk, but it's a hip walk where you just kind of hip to the front of the chair, to the back of the chair, uh -huh. um, that, that's pretty much it. And, and it's, uh, you know, just very slow movement. Yeah. Um, you know, if you if you check out uh, Tai Chi, yeah. it's all slow. Yes, it is. And, gosh, the Orientals live for... Ever, yeah. it seems yeah. like so it, it it must be good for yeah. you you know i mean that's okay. the way i don't know i think is, is the oldest population oldest? on the planet i think yeah. they're averaging 102 oh my my that's that's, that's, a, that's a good life yeah yeah <laughs> but you know i mean it's you, you hear a lot of people talk about it mm -hmm. that uh you know when i was in the class that they say oh we're here because you know we have class today but we're here and and everybody was saying, well, what about class? What about class? You know, so it, you know, it kind of gives, gives them, you know, that little, little oomph that they need. Absolutely. Sitting around doing, doing nothing. Well, and, and that's and it, it, right? You, yes. you, you said it early on. If you uh, don't use it, you lose it. Mm -hmm. And um, whether it's flex, flexibility, dexterity, um, physical and mental. Physical and mental. Or that's even, right. you know, get into to the spiritual as well there, right. you know. Um, but it, it, it brings you, uh, I don't know, closer together with everybody. Um, you know me, I'm the sucker for community. I love community. We, I just keep expanding my community, you know, from one uh, area to another. And I just love the fact that, yes, we have an aging population here in Fulton County. And, yes, people are being proactive to keep that aging population at full capacity. Full capacity, that's right. Um, and I like the three Bs. Again, it's brains, or it's body, brain, and belief. belief. And, uh, you know, Joe Vager here from uh, Community Presbyterian Church, January 7th. January 7th. At the Presbyterian Church. At the Presbyterian 4 Church. 4.30 in the afternoon. 4.30 to 5.30. 4.30 to 5.30. It's one hour. Now, this is a 12-week program. Yes, but you can come anytime. I was going to say. Come on anytime. If any I can't time. make it the first week, I can yep. still come the second Yes, week. and if you miss the second week, come the third okay. week. Okay. You know, I mean, it's it's any time. Yeah. Just get your, you just, just get moving. And, you know, in coaching, one of the biggest problems I ever had in coaching was the parents. Sure. But, you know, here, bring your parents. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Well, I wish you the best of luck for, with this. Again, there's no cost to this. None this whatsoever. This is a community service being done at the Community Presbyterian Church for the community. For the community. Excellent. Well, it's the 3B program. Again, Joe Vega here. Thank you so much for being here. And, uh, folks, we'll see you next time here on RTC TV4. Mm -hmm.